in water heater rocket, the boys were blown away by their 30 gallon water experiment. But what we didn't show you was what happened when we ramped up to a 52 gallon tank. Small, no boom. Medium, boom. Extra large, kaboom. It's the same type, it's set up the same way with all the safeties removed. Everything's the same except it's larger. So I would expect that this is going to blow up exactly the same way, uh, but it's going to be a little bit more energetic. To measure just how energetic, Jamie lays out shock watch stickers around the tank. When these water heaters explode, they make a big bang just like an explosive. Now that produces a shock wave. Uh, we want to see exactly what that shock wave is. is. Is it actually comparable to a couple sticks of dynamite? At least this time, the guys know where to look. Straight up. Do you want to spot how high it goes in the air? Okay. See if you can. <laughs> oh, <boy>. oh. <laughs> well, that's pretty high. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, they count up the mounting pressure. We're at about 265 PSI and uh, climbing rapidly, so be on your guard. Anything could happen from here on in. Over. We're now at 300 PSI, double what the tank's rated for. Be on your guard. Okay, everybody in here. Lucky we were all on our guard. The heater pushed off the ground with a mighty amount of thrust. Look at how high! Down it comes! Now! <laughs> wow! Look at the guys applauding over there. Wow, that was just around 315 and that acted just like a rocket! Yeah, I'm saying that went up maybe 500 feet. The boom was commensurately louder. Whoa! And this time, knowing that it was flying up in the air, both Jamie and I took pains to watch it and watch it and it hung for like it had to be 12 or 13 seconds at least and it was stunning the telltale signs of a rocket are strewn all over the runway wow look at that because that was that was concave yeah a full bowl before we started this test it went from like this to like that <laughs> so, <laughs> whoop. jamie checks out his shock stickers these things register shock. They're all tripped. The green one represents 100 Gs. That's supposed to be lethal, so uh, you'd be dead. Note to self, never use a water heater as a drink stand. Uh, 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 uh.